All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back. I know it's been a while, uh, and this actually should have came out a long time ago. Um, I appreciate the patience of the representative of Fiona from uh, Digiardi here that's sending me the code for WinX, the um, DVD converter that they have. Um, originally I recorded this a couple of months ago, and it ended up being like 35 minutes long, and then I ended up having a massive wipe. Um, for those of you who paid attention to my channel and music stuff would have noticed that. I brought it up and mentioned it before. Um, right quickly, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over uh, some stuff. They asked me to review this software and give my opinions about it, and so that's what I'm going to do. As somebody who uses this and kind of thing, um, usually for video conversions for myself, I actually use the built-in codec converters and stuff in Vegas 12. A long time ago when I first started doing things, I was using DivX Pro, and DivX Pro had a lot of really good functionality to it. Um, Linux or Digiardi, the company that makes this program, also makes another one that's a companion program that's a DVD ripper. Um, for those of you who are used to things like Handbrake and stuff like that, um, Linux, I think, I think this Linux stuff is a much easier to use program. Handbrake has a little bit of a learning curve. And actually, everything with Digiardi here is exactly what you see, is exactly what you get. It makes it super easy, especially for those of you who at least have some basic idea of how to do file conversions and rippings. And even for people who don't, it doesn't. I have two major complaints right now, which is one, um, if you download the newest version of this, it might look different. This is the older version, and I have not updated it. Um, they may send me a code to do updates on it themselves. Two, the biggest thing that I've had a problem with um, is their YouTube direct download. Um, if I go like to my channel here, and do 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 um stuff that I liked BD stuff. All right, and then I don't want to play this. We're gonna take this URL and copy it here. We're gonna go to this program and paste it. Now, if this does the exact same thing it was doing to me months ago, as soon as I hit OK, the program is going to crash. Oh, okay, good here. And what we're going to do is we're going to record this HD to DVI. And here we can we can actually set how we want this, what kind of output formats we want to do it in, um, which is great. Like, you can actually do this whatever you want. Um, but I'm not going to even, I don't want to change a lot of stuff. I'm just going to hit start. And if I start this, it should, if it was doing what it was doing before, this should crash on us. Hey, but I could be wrong. And... Maybe problem alleviated itself, which would be amazing. Um, but we'll pretend. I don't even know where the output file is going on this thing right now. Um, but what I'll do is continue to talk about the things I do enjoy about this while this is going on. Um, if you do throw a program in here, or a, or a file to convert the add to file, you can literally change this to anything you need and or want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this because apparently it was going to crash. Normally what it would have done, it would have done is crashed the second I started it, which looks like it's not going to do, but I, for, the prop, for the sake of time, I'm not going to record this. Just know, I know for a fact that it will work, um, and it will and it will record exactly what you want it. Um, my favorite feature, getting away from that, so uh, maybe the YouTube thing's fixed, and especially on the newer version, it's probably especially fixed. Um, for people who are big buffs about audio and video qualities, you can change those parameters the way you want, along with the codecs you want. Now, the website's saying that they use 300, a possibility of 320 different video codecs with 50 different audio codecs. That's way more than you're ever going to frickin' need. Um, if it recognizes it and reads those, that's the more important thing, because with MKVs, and especially for the group of people who are out there that torrent everything <coughs> um, and do stuff like that, that's, that's important because of all the random file types that come out of Russia, and Ukraine, and everywhere else where certain things are a little bit easier to get a hold of and hit places like, I don't know, Yiffy, Easy TV, and Pirate Bay. Whatever you use, that doesn't really matter. I don't really care. Um, but my favorite functionality thing about this is the multi-threading application. Is that as a true 64-bit program, um, that's a very small program to begin with, it allows you to optimize um, it's its ability to convert things based on your processing ability. So if you only want to use one, a single core 
while doing it, you can. If you want to use our high quality and force through audio video syncs and stuff like that, which we're gonna it's gonna bog you down a little bit more. But you can you can throw it on there to really fine tune your conversion, your file conversions. But you know, the big question is like, why do I need this? You know, maybe you know, if you get on their website, you're looking at at their stuff here. It's like, well, you know, they've got DVD ripper and converter for thirty six dollars. What does that really get me? Well, or it's like even with Copy Pro, and like I'll be honest, if you get this bundle of these two things together, you don't need to worry about anything else. Honestly, I think that they probably have for sale because it's a little bit of double of duplication. <clears throat> because DVD Copy Pro is going to rip it and then convert it and burn it, which so it's like a built-in thing. Um, and maybe it might because it says you can do these ISOs. But if you have anything like Nero or even Oshampoo, which is free, which is what I use, you can convert things to ISO if you really needed to. Um, but it does allow you to burn and rip formats to do anything that you need for, say, your iPods, iPads, um, iPhones, whatever you want to use. You know, the PSP, PS3 videos, Xbox video. Now, I mean, a lot of confusion in this is like stuff like this is. Honestly, on, on an Xbox, uh, Xbox will read MP3 format a, or this AAC, and it'll do MPEG4. Um, I don't, if I remember correctly, I don't think it will read H.264. I think I've had a problem with um, burning episodes of Archer on H.264 that wouldn't work on a disc on a 360 before for a friend. Um, I'm going to have to check back into that. I don't really remember. Mm. But anyway... Um, it provides you all the tools you would need to convert things to usable formats to watch them on other devices. Uh, or, if you're someone like me, making these videos for the use on the internet, um, I can import my high-def video and turn my high-def into an MP4. Or it's, I mean, I can I can do any, any of this stuff on this, but for, honestly, it's gonna, that's a little bit of duplication in the fact that good video editing stuff already has it built into it. So you're going to really want to just use this to, to rip and convert large movie files to make use of its multi-threading capabilities and not super bog your system down. And honestly, that's it. I mean, the, the what like I said, this is pretty much WYSIWYG, man. It's what you see is what you're getting. Um, it's not, I mean, it's not rocket science by any means. There are other ways to do what you want to do with it. Um, but they, the one thing about DigiArty is I know, because I've used this stuff for a while, um, as it's fairly reliable, as I said, the only problem I had was with the YouTube thing, and that looks like it may, may have already alleviated itself and isn't, isn't really an issue anymore. It could have been a driver issue on my side, I don't know, but I just remember the last time I recorded the video three times. I started the program, it would fail the first time, work the second time, every single time. So it might have been a problem on the hardware side, I don't know, I'm not going to say that. Because um, my laptop is pretty beast, so uh, for a mid-range system. Um, I'm curious to figure out if, when I build my desktop, that will have the AMD Vashira 4 gigahertz 8-core processor, if this will actually utilize all 8 cores. Because quad cores, by the time this program was made and came out, quad cores were the dominant thing on the market. So I'm curious if that will happen, or if somebody who watches this video uh, can comment about it, if you've got an eight, a 6 or an 8-core, and whether or not it will work in conjunction with those. Uh, I am curious about that. But other than that, I would recommend it. Um, not a lot of crap that comes with it. The installer's clean. It's small. It's easy to use. It's pretty good stuff from DigiArty. Their, their website is winxdvd.com. Um, that'll take you to their homepage. They run specials and deals during the holiday seasons. Um, just pay attention. Go there. Download it. I'm I think she said something about maybe giving me a discount code or some free copies to give away to people that uh, express a good enough interest. Whoa, stop that Windows 8. Um, but we'll find out about that later. But for now, this is me here with Watches Productions, my channel, of course, um, giving my thumbs up, but you can't see because my webcam isn't turned on, uh, about this software. And if you have any more questions about it that you would like to phrase to me, feel free, or their FAQs and customer service people can easily answer them as well um but that's it uh comment questions concerns put them in the drop in the bottom uh, otherwise i'm out of this later